Hey Joe, it's folks here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you one of my print-on-demand designs that sold over $2,000 worth in just 48 hours. We're also gonna review the actual social media strategy that I use to make those sales. I'm making this video because this is something that I talked about at the Printify event in New York that they had a couple of weeks ago. So I wanted to put together a video here for you where I sort of provided a little bit more context to some of the things that I talked about there because this is a great strategy for print-on-demand stores it's something I've done a lot over the last seven years. And ultimately, if you're someone that's trying to get traffic to your store, this could be a great way to get it. In some of my other videos, I review lots of other social media strategies as well. So make sure to check some of those out. I've also got a free course. It's called POD for Dummies. There's a link down in the description. Inside, there's over 30 videos to help you to actually build out your print-on-demand store on Shopify, which is ultimately where this strategy will work best. I'm not saying you can't use it if you are on Etsy. I I am someone though that does prefer Shopify and if you want to set your store up I have a free course. Take a look at this account here. Imagine a situation where let's say you're someone that is selling fitness related print on demand products. Maybe you're selling hoodies. Maybe you're selling t-shirts. Maybe you're selling flags for the wall in someone's home gym. Imagine a situation where you could get someone like this here to actually help you to promote your products. Let's say you had a someone like this in the fitness niche. If we scroll through their account you can see that they're posting tons of content all about their workouts, their diets, how they get their protein, things like that. If we scroll all the way back up, you can see that this guy here is an online fitness coach and he has over 200,000 followers. The goal here would be to get someone like this to post a photo of one of your products amongst their other stuff on here, or maybe you're going to get them a free sample where they can actually promote it to their followers. Maybe in his next workout, he actually puts a shirt on and then wears yours or your hoodie or shows one of your gym flags or something like that and then tells his 238,000 followers where to go get it. That's the strategy that we are talking about today. What we're talking about here is influencer marketing and this is basically you using other people on social media to promote your products. The reason why this is beneficial to us as print on demand sellers is because we are selling to specific niches. When I use influencers, what I'm trying to do is look for creators that are making content for my niche and essentially partner with them to promote my products to their audience. Just like that example I showed you earlier, if I had a store in the fitness niche, that person would have been a great candidate for me to actually work with. If he posted one of my products, over 200,000 people could potentially see it, and that could help me get a lot of traffic to my store. In a moment, I will show you my design. First, I want to address some frequently asked questions about influencer marketing. The first is, does it cost money? And the answer is yes. So this is a business ultimately when you are running a print on demand store there are some expenses and influencer marketing is one of those things that you should spend money on ultimately what i always say is print on demand is not really a real thing we are creating home decor businesses we're creating apparel businesses we're creating pet product businesses or accessory businesses car products and we're using print on demand to fulfill the orders so ultimately in order to succeed with that my advice would be to treat what you're doing like a real business right not viewing pod as something that is getting too saturated. It's a lottery ticket. I have to go as fast as I can and be frantic. No, like you're, you're running a business and you are using print on demand to fulfill your products, right? So treat it like a business, spend money where it makes sense. I think one of the best places you could spend money is with what Laura was talking about. Influencer marketing is something that I think over the next 10 years is going to transform e-commerce, right? People that have followers in your niche promoting your products, like spend money there. Don't be afraid to send samples to people. Go send 50 DMs tonight to people in your niche and send them a free sample. Spend $500 on samples. One thing I also say is that influencer marketing is some of the cheapest traffic that you can ever get. In most cases, what we're talking about here is a promotional post for $50 or $100 or something like that. In a situation where someone on social media has 50,000 followers or 100,000 followers or something like that, what we're talking about is pennies to reach people. Basically, what I'm saying is that that if you were to spend that same $50 on a TikTok ad, for example, you might show that ad to a few thousand people. However, with influencer marketing, you are now showing that ad to potentially 50,000 or 100,000 or however many followers the influencer actually has. And like I said in that clip from Printify's event, this is a real business. If you are going into your print on demand store hoping to just get rich for free, you're likely not going to actually achieve results because you're not going to spend money where it makes sense. Another 
Another question I get is how do you actually find influencers? Now, what I do is I usually will search by hashtag on Instagram or on TikTok. This means going on Instagram and typing in a certain hashtag that's relevant to my niche. On YouTube, I simply search for videos in my niche. For example, I could type gardening for beginners and look at all of the videos that are coming up. Once you get your search results, the goal is to go through all of these accounts and look for ones that are actually active in your niche. You wanna make sure that they have lots of followers, obviously. You wanna make sure that they have lots of engagement on their videos and their posts to make sure they're not a fake account. And when it comes to contacting them, we simply want to send them direct messages on social media. If you are on Instagram or on TikTok, you could simply just click send message. Sometimes they'll also have an email address listed in their bio or in their YouTube video description, and you could reach out to them that way. Typically what I will do is I will type up a script and I will copy and paste that to everybody on my list. Sometimes I am sending 20 emails or I'm sending a dozen messages until I get someone to respond. Something like this here is the end goal. You can see this post, the person that made it, their account name is Princess Eva. The caption says, are you always snapping pictures everywhere you go? She then goes on to describe the product and then she's actually tagged the store that is actually selling this product. This is the print on demand store that is tagged inside of her post. You can see they offer print on demand items for lots of different niches, different bags and shoes and other things. I also found this post here with someone else promoting some of their items. Again, you can see in their caption, they've tagged this account. So that way everyone in this person's audience will see this post and potentially be able to go and check out the product. Here's another post here from another influencer. You can see they have one of these rugs. One of their niches is teachers. So here's a teacher that they found who actually shows the product sample inside of her classroom. And again, their account is tagged right here inside of her caption. And like I said earlier, I'm going to show you an actual design that I sold over $2,000 worth, a little bit over 100 orders in just 48 hours. First, I just want to kind of talk through this with you if you are thinking about actually exploring this for your print on demand store. This is a strategy that I've used a lot to actually sell print on demand items. Personally, I am actually working on a second print on demand store right now. And the primary way that I'm going to grow it is through influencer marketing. One of the cool things about this new store is I have actually been filming and vlogging and basically documenting the process of opening it. And pretty soon here on my channel, I'm going to be starting to post all of those videos where you will actually see my real print on demand store, the designs and all of that and everything that I'm doing to actually grow it. So make sure to subscribe if you are not already. Today, I'm gonna reveal to you a design I sold in the past through influencer marketing. It's not something I am currently selling, but I thought it would be cool to reveal here in this video. Before I do though, what I will say to you watching is the same thing that I tell people that I am working with. If you are trying to get into influencer marketing, you first just have to try. This is one of those things that has a lot of nuance to it. You're gonna be having conversations with real people. You're going to be trying to come to a deal with them. You're gonna be figuring out payment terms and potentially sending them free samples. And what I will say is that you need to just try. You need to start having these conversations and ultimately put together your own process for making this happen. There's no one size fits all approach to messaging people or offering to send them samples or anything like that. If you have specific questions, definitely leave those below in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. And this is the design here. It is a political design, so save those comments. I just thought this was a great viral trend to jump on when this actually happened. If you don't know what this is, Google it. Basically, this is a very simple t-shirt design that I put together a single product store for and using influencers, I was able to sell over 100 units of this shirt in just 48 hours. This is the actual post that the influencer made. This is the mock-up that I used for the design and you can also see the actual caption down below where it says click the link in and then my account that I had was tagged in the caption. It says in their bio to order this awesome shirt, tag a friend who would rock this proudly. That's the type of caption that you want your influencer to actually use. So then that way people in their audience will be able to just click on your account that's tagged in the caption. And then from there, they will be able to access the link in the bio of your own account. And like I said earlier, you just have to try this. You have to see what works. You have to do some tests and ultimately get some experience doing this. However, I wanted to make this video because in New York, I talked about influencer marketing. It's always been a major traffic source for me. And if you're someone that's trying to get traffic to your store, this should be something that you should definitely try.
try. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.